What's going on, everyone? Okay, so I have uh, some, some news uh, today. Um, those of you who uh, follow me on the Red Wing side, quite a few of you, um, just a heads up that the 8146, the Red Wing Roughneck in Briar, um, is, I heard, little birdie, that it's going to be discontinued. Yeah, the one that I had that beautiful love story of how I style the 8146 Roughneck. It looks like it's not happening anymore. Probably because it may be the sawmill in Briar um, is taking its place. Because if you were, if one were to wear the Roughneck for winter versus the sawmill, the sawmill's probably a better boot. Not probably, it is a better boot for winter. It's lined, it has that wool insert that you can take in and out. Um, so yeah, I would say the sawmill is better for winter. Now, the way I was wearing the Roughneck was just kind of like transitional uh, fall into, early fall into uh, winter, where I was kind of just like styling it uh, more in, in a city kind of cool way versus just having it uh, for like a work um, in the yard, more of like that with that lug sole um, boot. So, um, e you could, well, either way, um, if you want to get that rough neck 8146, jump on it now. I'm sure you'll be able to find it even after uh, they take it off the shelves. You'll probably be able to find it maybe on Amazon or um, some other um, Red Wing, local Red Wing stores may have it. And then I'm sure they'll probably have, you know, a few um, in, in the warehouse um, that they'll ship out. But if you've been eyeing it, pull the trigger, pick up that boot. Um, so, yeah, a little, little uh, bummed about that one, but uh, I'm glad I have it. <laughs> and if you have it, in, I know people who enjoy the Roughneck. Um, they have either the Briar or the Copper Rough and Tough, both stunning leathers. Um, so pick it up. All right, today I am wearing the 8188 um, Red Wing Pecos, which I have, if you can see here, uh, a leather um, heel stack placed on those um, at a cobbler, a local cobbler here in New York. Um, because, um, if you send boots to Red Wing, they will not, to, back to Minnesota, they will not do a leather heel stack. They'll do a composite stack. And so, um, I have, uh, th three pairs of the 8188. And so I have, you know, one I kept as is this one. I wanted a bit different. So I added the heel stack and then I have another pair currently at a cobbler getting something else, which I'll share, uh, when they come back, something kind of fun, um, and um, yeah, so I'll have, have you look at that again, 8188 with that uh, nice heel stack. I thought they did a great job with that. Um, takes it to a whole nother le level, kind of gives it slightly dressier look on that. And honestly, the inspiration is what's behind me here. Uh, these are stunning um, boots that you can, as, um, as they say, you can have them in, in the boardroom or working um, out in, in the field. Um, but, uh, speaking of, ah, I can't stop. I don't know why. What's the matter with me? I can't stop. Okay. So we have <laughs> in here, um, the, uh, Lucese, uh, sunset roper. So, um, yeah. I can't, I, I can't stop. Oops, oh, sorry, sorry, hit the mic. I, I don't know what to say. They're, they're stunning and I want all of them. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get into it. <laughs> so the interesting thing is the um, Sunset um, Roper does not come with a warranty card nor a boot bag like the others that I had um, picked up. So that's uh, interesting, but let's get into this again with the uh, plastic 
bag off and toss because you don't want to keep your boots any kind of leather and plastic you need it to breathe but um this is um goat and it is the the name of this is um chocolate tan and i kind of want to equate this to um similar to the copper rough and tough in um in look and slightly in texture um, it does feel a bit thicker than um oh there's something let me take that out of there it does feel a bit thicker than the uh, than the last uh what was the buffalo that i had picked up um i don't know about heavier but man this one to me is like that so if if the buffalo to me had a high high gloss finish that came off dressy and then the the other goat in the black cherry had that very shine high shine as well this one is definitely just like more of a a um, toned down and easily just like jeans t-shirt and you're done out the door and wearing these you know all day versus kind of like the the goat in the black cherry t is is dressier. It's it's definitely something that's like uh, you're going like a date night or something. And this one, date night, but also just like hanging out, um, watching the game at the bar with the fellas, or even doing some work. Um, although this may you know you may slip with this, but I tell you this um, chocolate tan. And the texture on this, when we do close-up details, you'll see the texture. It's pretty cool. Um, man, I'm excited for this. Throw these on. Um, all right, let's take a closer look at the Lucchese Sunset Roper in the uh, chocolate tan. All right, so here is a closer look at the Lucchese Sunset Roper. I'm just gonna remove this. Um, card here the tagage all right so um, as I was saying before this is a chocolate tan leather and um, it to me it's reminiscent of the Red Wing copper rough and tough because of the texture uh, if you look you can kind of see some of that coming off and I, I'm quite sure that as this will age um, it will take on some beautiful characteristics I just just know that so uh, I had that feeling uh, this is mad dog goat leather I love that name right mad dog goat leather and as I was saying it's quite thick it feels very durable very thick um, much stiffer tougher than the Buffalo that I recently reviewed and um, just really like how this kind of has that very durable feel. Uh, we have a one inch heel on here, leather stack, uh, 10 inch shaft. And um, this is beautiful leather sole, which I love. I haven't, um, so the Buffalo I wore, I try to just beat those up as much as possible. And um, I didn't mind the, I didn't mind the leather sole getting um, scuffed up. So I, that's, I, I know eventually I, I'll probably definitely put something on the heel because once to the way I walk, it starts to get an angle. So I'm definitely going to have that a little piece placed there. But I, I didn't mind so much the the leather um, sole getting scuffed up. That wasn't that big of a deal to me. Um, this has a um, C toe and a uh, two heel on these uh, Lucchese boots. Oh, I wanted to show you guys... Um, speaking of the leather stack on here, just an, a cl another close-up of the uh, Red Wing um, Roper, the 81, 88 of that heel stack that I did. So I just wanted to show you guys how that looks on there. Um, another, another view for you. I love the way they'll smell. Okay, so back to this. Um, I have to tell you, like, given just just noticing the comparison in in weight is quite 
yeah, these these are much heavier. Um, but I guess I don't know. Work heritage, work. Um, maybe that cork sole makes it uh, gives it that that um, that weight. But anyways, back to this beautiful thing here. Okay, the uh, chocolate and tan uh, leather. Uh, I want to do a close-up for you so you can see the texture on this bad boy. Okay, look at the texture on this leather. This uh, mad dog goat leather. That's really good looking. And then down here on the vamp here. That's uh, quite nice. And what they said is that this leather... Um, will take scratches and then it easily just kind of like buffs out, they say, according uh, to the website. Kind of actually very much like the Copper Rough and Tough. If it's Copper Rough and Tough, um, you just take your nail and just graze the leather. It's going to show, but then you kind of with like the oils on your hands, you can just like easily just kind of like buff that out or rub that out and the, the, um, the scratch just goes away. So. Um, that's what they're saying that this uh, this leather uh, is like that as well. So, um, which is cool, and that's kind of kind of what um, makes me. Well, let's go back out here. Hold on. So that's kind of what drew me to this leather was that something that was going to be a little bit more kind of like um, a workhorse, where um, closer to the 1178 that I have, where it's something that I can wear and not worry about. Um, uh, scuffs and scratches and having my dogs walk on it and scratch it with their nails. This is something that which happened to my uh, 1178s the other day. Um, so uh, it's something that I uh, desire uh, in, in a boot that's going to be worn every day. It's like you don't have to really worry too much about in, in baby. You just put it on and kind of go. Um, this is uh, I feel like this leather this is gonna be that for me just this, something that I put on every day and, and uh, just beat up um, the one thing that I noticed that's different especially on this um, particular roper is the design up here uh, that's kind of cool which unless you're tucking in your your uh, jeans or pants uh, no one will see and no one knows but you uh, or, or you go to a house where you have to remove your boots. But I, I thought that was it's a really cool touch, this little stitching that they have uh, across. It's a nice detail. Um, but yeah, very excited to uh, to get these in. Um, I love that the, the dark color. Um, I did the buffalo, which are an antique brown. I wore those with um, with uh, black denim. And these right here, I, I did like these I'll do with like a black denim, um, a blue denim and maybe even a natural I think it, it, it can work with those because the antique brown look really good with uh, natural uh, denim um, so yeah these are pretty cool looking mad dog leather very excited for these all right let's do the on feet <laughs> That is the Lugese Sunset Roper in the Chocolate Tan Mad Goat Leather. Thank you so much for watching and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.